Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living Indiana team bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Today we've got an awesome model home to walk through. It's got more bathrooms than bedrooms. Plus we've got a spanking brand new home that's all ready for its new owners. Then we're gonna take a quick tour around the area, show you everything that Westfield, Indiana has to offer. And if you stick around to the end, I've got a market update that you can put to use for your own good. Let's go. Standing in front of Pulte's uh, model, the Palmery at uh, Woodwind. And uh, you, if you're considering moving to Westfield, Indiana, you might want to take a look at this popular home. Hey, but don't take my word for it. Let's go. Okay, stepping inside, you've got a nice wide entryway with 10 foot ceilings. Right to the left is decent sized bedroom. Lots of natural light coming in on these windows. You got eight foot doors, you gotta like that. And then right outside this bedroom um, is a full bath with tile. Um, this would serve as the powder room as well. But it, one thing's nice is it would give your guests, if this was a guest bedroom, uh, they would have use of the bathroom without coming out into the main living area. Next along the hall is a good sized office. Got like the tray, uh, tray ceiling, adds a nice touch to it. You also have to like these French doors. I like those because at the end of the night, I can close the doors and I'm done working. And uh, that's my signal to myself not to go back there till the next morning, you know. But uh, it also closes it off if uh, um, you have people over and you just don't want them uh, messing with your stuff or whatever, especially if a bunch of kids running around. You also have to like the wainscoting here. It's a nice elegant touch as you walk in the door. And if we go to the right here, uh, you've got the entrance to the garage, or what will be the garage. And then you have a laundry room with cabinetry. You have a laundry sink. And you have your coat closet right here. Okay, coming into the main living area. Nice open concept. You've got this great big island here. Looks out over everything. Got a lot of windows. You've got some room for prints and photos and that type of thing as well. Your main living space. They've got a good size sectional here. You could probably get another chair in here or so. A nice uh, fireplace, nicely done. Walk out here to a nice size patio, covered with ceiling fans. And you're on the golf course. The homes in this uh, neighborhood come with a social membership to the golf course, which is nice. Oop, better get that door before it locks me out. Stepping back inside, you've got your dining space right here. This is good because you can bring your barbecue right in here to your table or to your kitchen counter, work on it. Um, you don't have to traipse through the living room or anything like that. This is a big island. I mean, it's got four stools and they're pretty well spaced out. Nice overhang on that too. So quartz countertops. Soft closed cabinets, which is nice. You got tile backsplash. You got quite a bit of counter space. You've got uh, your microwave and your oven, all stainless steel. And then check out this pantry. This is a true walk-in pantry. Cool. Okay, you've got your dishwasher tucked under the sink. Nice big deep sink. Stainless steel hood fan even. You've got a uh, gas range, which once you cook on gas, you don't want to go back. And then you've got uh, your refrigerator with ice maker. So all in all, nice kitchen. Nice living space. Okay, let's come over here and see what we've got. Uh, we have the master bedroom. It too has a tray ceiling, which makes it live even larger. But there's quite a bit of space in here. They have two 
um, nightstands, bit large ones. They've got a good sized chest of drawers and a wing chair, big king bed. And there's good open feel, feel in here. You could add another piece or two. Okay, we've got the bathroom. We've got a double vanity, good size. Down the hall, you've got the water closet, big linen closet, and a decent sized master bedroom walk in closet. And then you've got this nice shower, tiled all the way 10 feet. It's got a seat. Good size, attractive, little skylight there coming in. This is a nice bathroom. And really, it's a nice ensuite. Okay, Let's see what else we have right across the way here. Takes you down to the basement. Now you can have this built with a uh, loft, with uh, a loft and a bedroom, bathroom up there as well. Um, but this basement can also be finished. Usually when they finish the basement, they finish about half of it. This one is 1,892 square feet. So there's a lot of space down here. It has an egress window so you can put in a bedroom. They also have it set up for uh, plumbed for a full bath. But just a lot of space down here. It kind of goes on and on. So you could do a lot of different things with this. Movie room, playroom, office, workout room, family room, game room. Just lots of different options. And you really got to like the ceiling height down here too. That makes a huge difference in the usability of a basement. Okay. Okay, we'll take one more look at this. Really nice living space. Comfortable, open concept. So buying a new construction home does not have to take nine to 12 months if you don't want it to. Um, they have what's called new uh, build uh, quick move in homes that are ready either now or in the next three or four months. And uh, let's go take a look at them. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna wanna pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Okay, I'm in front of lot 62 in the Woodwinds uh, development by Pulte Homes. Uh, this one is the Prestige model. It's got 2,891 square feet. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath, and I think you're gonna like it. Okay, we're inside and out of the rain. They're uh, just finishing up on this house, just uh, doing the punch out items. They just put the sod down. Uh, looks like yesterday. And so, uh, hey, we'll see uh, what this one looks like. Again, you got the uh, same like the model home, great big entryway here, wide hallway. You've got the uh, wainscoting. Nice touch, uh, 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors. Right to the left is a bedroom. Good windows, even on this dark day, it's letting in a good amount of light. The tall ceilings really help make it uh, live better. Private bath. And rather small walk-in closet. And back here, You've got a linen closet. Okay, good combination space here. Down the hallway, you got a coat closet. And we have an office with solid doors. And a closet. So this can be office or bedroom, however you see fit. And then right across the hall here is your entry from the garage. You've got a three car, it is finished. 
all the way around. Nice and convenient right here is your laundry room. You've got a laundry sink, which makes it easy to get cleaned up when you uh, come in from outdoors. Coat closet. Uh, under the stairs, place for a water softener. And a powder room, which is convenient coming in from outside as well. Okay. Into the main living area. You've got the tray ceiling, which really adds a lot. It gives it a nice big open feel. This one also has a nice big quartz countertop. Good view of everything. You can stand here and do your meal prep or whatever, or entertain. Room for like four or five stools, so if you're entertaining, there's plenty of room. You've got dining space here. Lots of windows. You still have room for prints and photos and that type of thing. Then over here, I mean, you could use this for a number of things. It could be a um, morning room, <laughs> evening cocktail hour room, um, den, uh, kids playroom, kind of whatever uh, multi-purpose you wanted, but it has really good windows as well. And good wall space. Small covered patio, not a lot of grass to take care of. Your main living area, pretty decent size. Banister and that adds a little attractiveness to it. You do have the gas log fireplace. And then you got this nice kitchen. So you've got subway tile for a backsplash, soft closed cabinets, stainless steel appliances. You're cooking with gas and you have a nice attractive hood fan, your microwave and your oven, and a step-in pantry of pretty good size. Refrigerator goes there. So, attractive kitchen, especially if you like white. Okay, let's see what we have over here. This would be your master. It too has the tray of ceilings, so you have 10 foot plus the tray. Good size. Decent walk-in. Water closet, double vanities. Small linen closet, and check this out, a second walk-in closet. This one I think might be a little bigger. We know whose that is. And then you have a nice uh, tiled shower with seat, skylight, transit light, whatever we want to call it. And I'm not sure what you use this space for, but hey, uh, I guess you could put in a makeup counter or um, I don't know, figure it out, right? So. Pretty good sized nice bathroom with two closets and decent sized bedroom, which makes for a nice ensuite. But we're not done in this house. Let's go uh, upstairs and see what we have. Carpeted stairs, cuts down on the noise. Okay, we get to the top here. Got your mechanicals in here, a little bit of storage space. And then you have a loft, which is pretty good size, really. Could be used for any number of purposes, second family, room area, office, workout room, kids play toys. But I'll tell you, it is uh, secluded away from the stairway, which makes it pretty quiet up here. So. You have uh, one family uh, set of people downstairs and another up here. You do have some space and uh, some privacy in that regard. And then coming down the hallway here, we have another bedroom. 
with a decent sized closet. Decent linen closet. And then you have a full bath, which serves the bedroom and the loft. So in a sense, if you had somebody, you know, adult child, boomerang child, um, other family member, whatever, you could turn this into kind of a uh, in-law suite type situation. Nice view coming down the stairs. I will mention that Pulte is the country's third largest builder. They carry a real strong reputation. They're voted uh, recently for, I don't know how many years in a row as being one of the better places to work, which is a nice touch when it comes to um, what goes into your home. If you have happy tradespeople working on your home, it's gonna be a better home. Okay, this is the uh, Prestige model. It has 2,891 square feet, so it's pretty good size. It's got the three car attached garage, fully finished, and the ticket on this one is 575,000. It's ready here in about a week, maybe less if they hurried, and uh, it comes with, get this, a five and a quarter percent 30 year fixed rate. Uh, you can have that uh, either conventional or I believe there's an FHA option that's uh, very similar. So if you're interested, uh, just give me a quick call or text, be glad to set it up for you. Okay, if you're interested in doing a build to suit so that you get exactly what you want, build time right now is about six months and that gives you plenty of time to uh, get your house ready. Uh, we can get it sold for you for the most money in the quickest time and with the least hassle. There's quite a few lots here available still, uh, maybe a dozen. Uh, but uh, maybe you've heard uh, Zillow's named Indianapolis the fourth hottest housing market in the country and good lots like good houses can sell fast. So if you'd like to take a look uh, at lots or the quick move in homes, just uh, give me a quick call or text. We'll get you registered even on the weekends and uh, we'll take good care of you. Make sure you get uh, things done the way you want them done. The city of Westfield has a lot to offer. Many amenities, not only in its own boundaries, but also in the surrounding area. Westfield is the northernmost suburb of Indianapolis. It sits at the top of Hamilton County, which is the wealthiest county in the state. Highway 31 runs right down the center of it. That's probably the, about the busiest highway in the state other than the interstates. It's about 10 minutes down to Carmel, about the same to 465, which is the beltway that runs around the uh, city of Indianapolis and will take you anywhere you wanna go in the metro area. It's about 20 miles to the downtown circle. That's uh, a, probably about a 45 minute drive. Not that you're probably gonna have a whole lot of need to go all the way downtown unless you're going to a Colts game or a Pacers game or out to eat someplace or something like that. Now, State Road 32 runs east and west, kind of cuts through the middle of the city because the city itself is about a seven by seven mile square and you have roads running about every mile north and south and east and west. But 31 and 32 are your key travel routes. Now let's talk jobs. Westfield is largely a bedroom community. Most people work outside of Westfield, either in Carmel or down along the Beltway. But there are some jobs in the schools, in the, a limited number in manufacturing, and then just in your basic services. Okay, let's talk schools. There's six elementary schools, an intermediate, and a middle school, and a high school. Neat thing about the high school, it's got an enrollment of 2,400, which is considerably smaller than most of its neighbors. And some people just might like that a great deal. Now the system is rated A plus by niche.com. It is ranked number six out of 290 public school systems in the state. That puts it in the top 2%, which is just crazy good. It is also home to Garin Catholic High School with an enrollment of about 800 students. And it is ranked in the top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the United States year in and year out. So you have two great options for where to send your kids to school. Moving on, let's talk uh, hospitals and medical care. There's a Riverview Hospital basically at the junction of uh, highways 31 and 32. There are many exceptional hospitals located about 15 minutes south in Carmel. These are right on 31. They are, uh, include the IU Health System, uh, Ascension St. Vincent, and the uh, Riley's Children's Hospital. Surrounding those are many specialty hospitals like Heart Hospital, Oncology, Women's Hospital, um, Cardiovascular, and there are many, many ancillary medical buildings surrounding these hospitals. There are tons 
of healthcare opportunities to satisfy all your needs about 15 minutes south of the main part of Westfield. There is a lot to do in Westfield. The city and the organizations have put together a full schedule of events. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of a few of the major ones a little bit later in this video. And any discussion of Westfield has to begin with Grand Park. Stay tuned to get the full scoop, but there's more to Westfield. Looking at Parks and Rec, there's 12 parks with playgrounds, splash pads, disc golf, a skate park, picnic tables, shelters, gazebos, and 94 miles of trails, even an equestrian trail. Now, when it comes to golf, there's only one public course. So you either have to join a country club or go to nearby Carmel or Noblesville, which has many good options for golf. Music lovers have it better off. Cool Creek Park offers six concerts during the summer, and there's the new Jam at the Junction, which has a concert every Friday night during the summer. Connor Prairie is not too far off. It seats 8,000 people and has 12 concerts during the summer, which are very well attended, and everybody has a good time. We're gonna visit there, and we're also gonna stick our head in the door at Ruoff Music Center. Now, Ruoff is not in Westfield, but it is well, maybe about 30 minute drive away. And uh, it is the gem when it comes to music in the state of Indiana. In 2018, it sold more tickets than any other music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, it is in the top five of ticket sales worldwide. So be sure to stay tuned to see what's going on there. Okay, when it comes to shopping, along State Road 32 to the east are strip centers. To the west, you've got uh, the development of big box stores. And if you go south, right on the border with Carmel, you've got Greyhound Pass. And there are a lot of big box stores, not to mention a lot of other stores. And then right across the street in Carmel is the Clay Terrace, which is an open air mall with even more stores. So there is plenty of shopping opportunity for people that live in Westfield. Okay, let's talk restaurants. Park Street has a number that come very highly recommended. My favorite is the Italian house. You're gonna need to get a reservation probably about two weeks in advance. It's that good. Now there are a number of uh, brew pubs and wine bistros that get quite a bit of attention. But my other fave is Grindstone on the Monon. Be sure to get the pickle brine chicken sandwich. Sounds kind of odd, but it's really pretty darn good. Now, if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about Westfield, Indiana, or to walk through a home you've seen advertised, just text me or book a call. Okay, let's jump in the ride and go take a look at these world famous attractions. Let's talk the Grand Park Sports Complex in Westfield, Indiana. Evidently, the City Fathers had seen the movie Field of Dreams starring Kevin Costner, where he said, if we build it, they will come. If you build it, you will come. Actually, he didn't quite say that, but I'm gonna paraphrase it since that's how it's usually paraphrased anyways. If we build it, they will come. So in 2007, the City Fathers came up with this idea and envision Grand Park. Seven years later in 2014, Grand Park opened and it continues to grow. There are 400 plus acres, there are 31 sports fields, 26 ball diamonds. There are three super large indoor facilities and that's just for starters. You put that all together and it makes for one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. Let me repeat that, one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. It is the home of the NFL's Indianapolis Colts training camp, and it's a host of untold number of youth and adult sports competitions, not to mention leagues and camps, and it draws athletes and their families from all over the country. It attracts somewhere between one and two million people to the complex and to the city of Westfield. That brings in millions of dollars to the local economy and it makes Westfield a very busy place, especially during the summer months. The Grand Park Sports Complex is truly a grand park. Check out these music and entertainment options. You won't believe all the shows you can take in. Okay, our music tour continues. We're at Connor Prairie, which is a large regional uh, tourist attraction. It is open year round. They have a variety of activities, uh, including hot air balloons and, uh, oh, the, what is this, uh, 150 or 200, 200 year old uh, working farm. There's a lot that goes on here. Uh, unfortunately, it's February and we're not going to get to see a whole lot of it. But so in the summertime, they have what's called Symphony on the Prairie. 
and the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra puts on uh, 12 concerts throughout the summertime. And all that area back there seats 8,500 people. Um, in 2023, they featured the music of Harry Potter, uh, the Star Spangled Fourth of July. They had tributes to uh, Marshall Tucker, the Fab Four, uh, Journey, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, uh, they did a, a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, theme. They just have a lot of fun. And when you come out here, what you do is you uh, you bring your blanket and your maybe your lawn chairs and a picnic basket with uh, dinner or you know some snacks to eat on and your favorite uh, beverage and hey it's a good time it really is i know people that have like tickets for the whole season all 12 nights i usually make it out once maybe twice at the most but uh, hey i have a busy summer so but hey it is a good time okay let's uh, finish our music tour with uh, the cream de la cream uh, let's go look at ruoff music center this is ruoff music center now it's february and things are buttoned up really tight uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here but at any rate I'll flash you some photos you've got to you got to think about this this seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music all-star lineup you can get a season pass even and, uh, and ticket sales for this are just out of this world in fact in 2018 Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles. You can tailgate, you can walk right in. And then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early. You can stay till the very end. You catch the encore, you walk out. It's five minutes to get out of the parking lot. And you're another what two three five minutes home hey it's a great time coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success housing numbers are in for the month of march 2024 so what do we have for hamilton county and the greater central indiana area both uh, close sales and listings picked up speed coming off the winter months but closings were down 15% and listings down 8% in Hamilton County from a year ago. This was less true throughout central Indiana as a whole, but regardless, inventory is still tight. Good houses that are priced right are now selling within about a seven to 10 day range. But the overall average is like five to six weeks, which means it sure helps if your house is in good condition in a good location and priced right. The median price in central Indiana is now 293,000. And in Hamilton County, that number is 426. And final prices settled at just like one to 2% less than asking price. Hey, so what does that all mean for you? Number one, prices are holding steady. Number two, lenders are reporting that more buyers have come in for pre-qualifications than they have for many months. Number three, my phone tells me that things are changing. It's been blowing up the last 10 days. And number four, we had a new listing last weekend. They had 19 lookers the first weekend and eight offers over list. Hey, the market is back in full swing. If I can be a service, be sure to give me a quick call or text. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do our tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.